Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel, and this is the companion piece that I do to Ruel's wrap-up every month. This is what you played, and this is where I highlight the games that you played in September uh, last month. And uh, I go over to BGG and uh, friends in chat. Um, we do this live on Twitch, folks, so if you'd like to join uh, next time, click on the description below and you'll see uh, how to follow uh, me on Twitch. So the first one is Dihidios, uh, talking about The Loop. Uh, this is a game that... I really enjoyed um, back. Oh, it's 2020. God, it's been that long. I gave. I ranked it an eight. It's a wonderful um, cooperative game uh, where you're trying to defeat an uh, evil Doctor Foe. Uh, it's got um, a lot of cool things going on. Uh, hand management, deck building, uh, the really cool cues. Man, these are great pictures. Who did this? Okay, whoever did a fantastic job of the photos. Uh, it looks like uh, Grifinka. Wow, these are terrific. Oh, this is uh, a non a non English version. Cool. I think, um, let's see, I don't think I did it on my channel, looking at, uh, for videos here, but I believe Rado uh, my, may have done it um, for his channel. Wait, where is it? Oh my gosh, these are all non-English. I guess these are the most, oh, maybe because they uh, the non-English the non versions um, have come out uh, recently. That's why they're, oh, there's Amy and Maggie, and there's Monique and Naveen, and uh, we got to highlight Richard. Because, uh, you know, I work for the Rotter Runs Through channel uh, as well. So I always like to show uh, some love uh, for uh, Richard. Uh, here he is here playing through. And it's got the cool little um, cube thing in the middle where you drop. And that's going to be the baddies. You know, it's sort of, it's random. It's um, somewhat random. It does, uh, you can shoot out of three different sections here. Uh, but those cubes you got to manage and, you know, vary. It's got that sort of pandemic uh, feel to it there where those things can come out and do bad things to you. But very, very uh, great game. Uh, a very, really cool game that I haven't played in a while. I just have it here. And I was talking beforehand in my other, I think I was talking in my other video about how I want to get the expansion, which I have not played yet. All right, so thank you, uh, Daihideo. Let's move on. Again, I pull these comments live, folks, um, from the uh, people who watch. Corthane, a regular viewer, uh, says, As per the last two months, my wife and I have continued playing our only the games from our shelf is shame. Very cool thing to do. <clears throat> we got a few more games played this month. Called an adventure. Okay, play the tile trap. Oh, okay, play. I remember that one. Uh, Blaze on Dice Throne Marvel. My first Stone Age, Cosmic Colonies, and Bendito. And our favorite game of the month is Bendito. My wife and I played at least two to three times a day the last week. Yeah, and I actually played Bendito uh, with Corthane um, on uh, Board Game Arena. It's a terrific implementation. Uh, it's a freebie over there. On, oh, that's not the Bendito I want. This is the Bendito here. That was a different uh, game. Bendito 2003, I believe. Uh, is this the one? Nope, that's not the one. Oh, there's, I didn't know there's so many games called Bandito. Um, El, is it El Bandito? Banditos. Wait, was it that first one? No, it can't be that. No, it's not. It's a tile, it's basically a tile laying game with cards, and you work cooperatively to try to get out of, um, Let's see, I'll, I'll do it this way. Banditos. Bandito. El Bandito. Wait a second. Why isn't Alyssa... Is, it, is this the name of the game? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go Board Game Arena and show y'all. Oh, I got six games going on right now. Okay, Bandito. Wait, why is it... I know I played it. Wait, did we play it on... Board Game Arena? Okay, this is pretty... Oh, Bandito! Thank you! Folks, see, this is why I do this live. Because friends in chat can help me out. So there's Bandito. Uh, Bandito. Oh, this is a board game. Who's played it online? Got Oh, there's our friends uh, from um, BGG. The Game Night folks, Game Night crew, playing Bandito. As you can see, there's the uh, tiles that you're laying down. You're trying to escape, dig tunnels and trying to escape, trying to play through all the uh, cards and get all the uh, escape routes. So, very fun game. Yeah, good call, Corthy. And I, again, thank you for uh, playing with me online. All right, let's continue. Let's see what else y'all played. Our friend Softy and Razor, also the channel or the um, community manager here at Tabletop tonight. Uh, they played Llama Dice for the first time. Okay, cool. I have not played Llama Dice. I like, I really enjoy Llama the card game, but I've not played Llama Dice. 
uh, the dice Im implementation. There's a friends from BGG again. Let's go to the dice tower. Uh, let's see what they've got to say. Um, this is, oh, this is, oh, okay, this is Llama Dice. Now, I know my buddy Daryl has Llama Dice. I haven't played it. I've only played the card game version. Um, I, we always called it Uno for gamers. Uh, really cool game. Again, by one of my, my favorite all-time designer, Ryder Canizia, the good doctor, um, play, uh, has, um, uh, designed Llama and Llama Dice. And I know it stands for something. It's, it's a German, I don't know if it's a pun or a joke. Uh, L L A M A, but they call it llama. Again, I love uh, the uh, the cute critter. It takes about twenty minutes, and um, you start with uh, cards, six cards in hands. There are llama cards, and then also one through six, and you have to play them. If you can play a six on the discard pile, you can play a six or a llama. Llamas on top, you can play another llama or one. It rolls over. Now, if you quit, you're going to take your place your cards face down, take no further actions, and then you go until one player cannot draw or is um, uh, left. So. Uh, very cool game. Um, I don't know how the dice version works, but I'm curious to see. Uh, apparently, a lot of and Eraser liked it a lot, and I feel like we have similar tastes in games. So, looking forward to that. Thank you, Soft and Eraser. Okay, let's move on uh, to No Soul, No Prob. Uh, this is a Ben, a fantastic artist. You can find him on No Soul, No Prob on um, Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. I think Blue Sky as well. But um, they played uh, Co Kokoro Sagrada. Phantom Inc., Crokinole, oh, you had me at Crokinole, Ben. Uh, Scout, Sky Team, Waypoints, and Fuji Plush. Now, I love Crokinole a ton. My all-time favorite um, dexterity game. But Sky Team, this is one of those games that's going to be on a lot of people's um, top five, top ten games of the year. Um, I got to show you, so I also played it. Let me go to my channel. I got to play this with Daryl. And the reason why I'm highlighting this is because Daryl is not a cooperative game fan. It's just not his jam. But I got him to play Sky Team. It's cooperative, but it really solves the problem of quarterbacking, you know, or having people make your decisions for you because you make your decisions, then you cannot talk during the action, the dice placement um, portion of the game, which really solves that problem. It's just a really cool theme. You're a pilot and co-pilot trying to land a plane. And uh, as you as you go, uh, you you have different sections of the board. I mean, it looks like a, a, a control board, right? The the pilot's um, control panel, where you have to make sure the plane is level. You have to make sure the landing gear is down. You make sure the flaps are right. Your engine speed is correct. And as you get closer and closer to the airport, you got to make sure you call in the radio and make sure that planes aren't in the on the um, runway, or else you're going to run into them. And in this version, <clears throat> this is what I love about it. There are different airports with different modules. Uh, that increase or decrease in difficulty. Uh, Daryl Nine, this uh, one, I, was this uh, some, I think it was an air, airline or airport in Ireland. We had to take a um, um, an intern with us, and that's that part portion below there. Uh, make sure the intern earns their stripes and learns what to do. And we got to the very last turn and we lost. So unfortunately, our, crash, uh, cra uh, our plane crashed, and uh, sorry, intern, your first day on the job. You're dead. <laughs> so it can be a little dark, but I mean, for the most part, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a brilliant cooperative game. Um, one of my favorites of the year. It was a huge hit at Gen Con. Uh, every day it sold out. And my version actually is the demo version. I want to thank T over there at um, uh, Hachette, who um, I think it's Scorpion Mas Masque that, um, might, that I think produced this game. But Hachette's sort of like the over um, the uh, distributor of the game here in the U.S. And they gave me the demo copy, which I'm perfectly fine with. It was, it's fantastic. Love that game. Great call, Ben. Okay, let's go on to longtime supporter and friend of the channel, Linnaeus Cabal. So many games, but some highlights were Lawyer Up, Sky Team again. Dreadful Me uh, Meadows, Point City, Ford Northward, which might be my new favorite quick solo game. I've heard that from other folks. And I trust Linnaeus' um, opinion. Uh, we have similar games. Again, she is the one who taught me everything I know about Castle of Burgundy. But I have not played for Northwood yet. And is it on a uh, one-stop co-op shot? I um, got to hang out with them. Uh, yeah, there's Mike. I uh, got to hang out with them on Rado's show before. And this is what really piqued my interest. It's a solo trick-taking game. Now, I didn't think two-player trick-taking games were possible, but I thought one-player trick-taking game was impossible. But Linnea says might be my new favorite quick solo game. You had me there. I mean, look at this cute, cute art. I uh, who, who designs this? Who publishes this? For Northwood, publish... It doesn't have the info here. I'll look it up. But I want to copy this game. It's got 
so many cute critters and it's a solo trick taking game which i thought was impossible to do but that's why it's on my radar and i'm definitely going to uh check this out thank you linnea for that also sky team as well um point city is fantastic i love the it's like point salad but the next level a little more meaty meat on the bones as they say just a slightly bit more complexity to that but it's an engine builder love point city but more more north this looks like my jam as well um hey by the way linnea i got to play games with her at um pax unplugged last year folks click on the description below find me on twitch i'm going to be streaming all week on twitch so by the time you watch this video um yeah you know you'll still have a chance i believe to win a free pass to pax unplugged i'm going to give away two of those this week live on Twitch. It's not going to be available here on YouTube, so follow me on Twitch. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Linnaeus. Um, also, Adel Dihidio also uh, played Legacy of You. Um, I already highlighted one of the games that uh, Dihidio um, uh, did, but uh, they also did Legacy of You, which I've not played yet, but heard nothing but good things about. Uh, let's go to uh, B. Travis. Uh, they played Fit to Print, Trails, King Domino, Shake That City. Oh, I love all those games. What would I pick, given... I love Shake That City, but oh, Fit to Print is so good too. What do I talk about? Uh, how about, uh, I'm going to talk about both of them. Fit to Print, I believe I soloed it and played it with two players on the shell. Yep, there's a two player that we did, uh, sponsored preview. Um, absolutely wonderful game by Peter McPherson, uh, designer of Tiny Towns. It's another, you know, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, this one takes Tau Lane. Adds a real-time element, which I appreciate. <laughs> Excuse me. I went to school as a, uh, to learn journalism. I was my um, paper's uh, sports editor many, many, many years ago when we actually still had paper newspapers. Uh, this um, uh, The theme is putting together a, a newspaper, and I love the real-time element because it does feel like you're in the newsroom. Hey, you've got deadlines to meet. You've got to line up all the articles just right. You know, do you want it above the fold? That's what you would see in a newspaper stand, which I or rack, which I don't think they have anymore. Uh, but it's a set collection, spatial uh, puzzle to it. I love it. Um, I just got this was a prototype, a, ver a really good prototype. But I just got my final version recently, so I have not cracked it open yet. But I will be doing that soon. And you know, since we're uh, you know I was talking about how much I love the Shake That City, I gotta throw that there as well. It's got such a really unique element in that hey there's mookie and uh, michelle mookie makes an appearance uh our a pug who we love very much along with uh meeple but it takes this uh really cool element you have the cube shape you place the cubes down it reminds me a little bit of tiny towns where you, the cubes determine uh, what shape you have and then those are, that actually determines what tile tiles you can place in what order on your city again the different tiles uh different shapes have different um scoring options which are terrific. I love this puzzle. And it plays in like 20 minutes, but it's such a, well, it was like 15 rounds, 20, 30 minutes. Oh gosh, shake that city. It's got the unique shaker. There it is. I shake that city, 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 shake that city. Any uh, Sean Paul fans? Anyways, that was not Sean Paul, but uh, you can see there. Now you, you can't see against the uh, black background on the uh, table there, but uh, the black uh, cube there is right there. So you pick one color as the active player, and then the non-active players choose uh, any of the other colors, and you place those um, tiles in your city, trying to connect them, trying to collect sets, and so forth. And then the last three rounds, it's cool because you do have the... Um, it takes away that active player, non-active player. So if you get sort of stuck by the last three rounds, you can anyone can use any cubes they want. So excellent game thank you for that uh was that uh Dihidio or was that oh sorry i just lost the comment but thank you for uh, con um, contributing again folks if you watch this live on twitch you can contribute as well um we i take uh these live and then we just talk about them. james brazil uh moderator for the channel friend of the channel played off oh, these these are all right these are all my jam castle of burgundy hardback paperback cribbage roll to the top horrified both versions for sale and emo tip what do I talk about? I love all these games. These are all fantastic games. Castle Burning, I, I talk about in um, uh, my Ruel's wrap-up for the month. Uh, click on the description below to see what games I ranked uh, this month. Why don't we go with this? Um, we'll go with... Um, I mean, I've talked about this game plenty on my uh, channel, Paperback. I did a live solo run-through recently. Um, I just got... I have Paperback Adventures 
which is sort of like Slay the Spire uh, or Spell the Spire, as we like, we like to call it. Um, it's a, a roguelike uh, solo game. It's Dominion meets Scrabble, folks. It is brilliant. The solo game. Now, I'm playing the, the solo game, the original one. In the new deluxe version, or, or the new reprint, uh, second edition, they have a new... Oh, well, let me see. if Yeah, you know what? They probably have it on Rado's channel. Uh, they change up the solo game, and it's so much better. Let's see. Well, there it is. 10th Anniversary Edition, where the solo game adds a little AI. And you here's where the solo thing is... Um, set up instead of the regular pyramid it's more like a spiral but look at that it has actions you're gonna roll die and take actions i love this even more than the original i i think it's fantastic it does they also include some different cards as well change up some things but paperback hardback cannot go wrong it's these are my favorite um word games i'm an old I mean, I, I, I'm an old fan of Scrabble, but I was never good at it. But um, Paperback has the deck building element that I love. So great call, uh, James Raziel. Uh, let's move on to My Fair Amy 55 a new follower here on the channel. Oh, they play lots of great games. Frosthaven, Woodcraft, Firefly, Lords of Water, Waterdeep, Castle of Burgundy, Wingspan, Sagrada, Ooh, Terracotta Army, and Sabika. I'm going to... Oh, oh, man. Love... Uh, now, again, I'm talking about Castle Burgundy on my other... Uh, Ruel's wrap up. I played Wingspan. I've talked about that before. Sagrada, always a big fan. You know, let's let's um, talk about Terracotta Army because I have a copy that is sitting here unplayed, and I need to uh, play it because it looks so cool. I've read the rules once. I have to read the rules again. Um, I greatly enjoy this game. You know, was it um, Thinker Themer? Thinker Themer. I thought Amy and Maggie really liked it. Yeah, they say instant Euro classic. We love Amy and Maggie and um, trust their opinion. Uh, this is, I mean, look at the Terracotta Army. I mean, it really, it's it's so cool that they, they've taken this theme and made it in a board game. Uh, resource management, you got different sections of the board that you got to go to and uh, take your actions. Is it, it's not tile lane. That, I was uh, mixing that up. But, you know, Ter um, Terracotta Army, folks, is from board and dice. You know, they, they tend to lean medium weight to heavier weight Euros. This one I cannot wait to get to the table. Check out Amy and Maggie's video for more info. Um, I'm looking forward to that one so much. I'm probably, oh man, I got to get to this table. It's ridiculous. It's been on sitting here for so long. Uh, thank you for that, um, uh, Amy, and welcome to the channel. Uh, next, we got Scott, a longtime uh, supporter of the channel and friend of the channel. Bonfire Trees and Creatures, Great Western Trail, New Zealand, Emerge, Age of Innovation, and Arc Nova, and more. Wow. <coughs> Great Western Trail New Zealand I want to talk about because this is another game that I just got that I have not played yet. But I think it was John Gonzalez, Book of Nerds, who recently played it, a solo version of it, and he really liked it. So, John, I trust his opinion. Oh, here's uh, Nick and Mike, my brothers from another mother, uh, the brothers Murph. Uh, they played through. I know they're big fans of uh, Great Western Trail. Um, this one, and I think Argentina. So I would like to check out... Um, uh, this one, this is the New Zealand one. Uh, so I've not played it. So I need to get it to the table. Another game that I need to unbox and get. You know, I'll probably do an unboxing video for it. And then that'll get me to play it, right? Just so many games, so little time. Thank you, Scott. I mean, what a great um, month of gaming there. I mean, anytime you can play Ark Nova, I think is a good month, right? Okay, moving right along. Variant Hex, another longtime supporter of the channel. Good friends. Uh, 41 games played. Nice. Illiterati, Last Will, The Prodigal Club. Cryo, Star Realms, and Books of Time. Oh, man. I can talk about oh so much good. So I'm always a big fan of Star Realms. I love Star Realms. That's a classic. Classic two-player dueling deck building game. Um, Books of Time. Michelle and I really enjoyed this one. Um, a very interesting take on tableau building, right? Where you're literally building books. They have little uh, two-ring binders where you slot those in. And those are determining the actions that you take. And um, you build it, and you try to go up the Civ track. Oh, so good. And again, again, anything that has a book theme, I'm a big fan of. I love books. I'm a book nerd. I was a book nerd long before I was a games nerd. I'm a games nerd now, and I haven't read that many books lately. So the gaming um, nerdiness has taken over. But excellent game. I'm, you know, I'm going to talk more than one of these because I, I've, I'm a really big fan of uh, these games. Cryo. This one was... a Daryl and I really enjoyed this. Let me see. Didn't we play this? Cryo game. Well, Gaviola. 
Uh, yeah, Daryl and I uh, live streamed this worker placement game. Um, gosh, I forget the name of the designer. It'll, uh, Luke Laurie, who's done. Oh man, Luke Laurie. What has he done? I know that name is familiar for a reason, friends. Help me out live, folks, in, in watching live if you can uh, help me. I know there's a game that I really enjoy by Luke Laurie. It is over here on the side. I'm, I'm looking at the, the game. Oh, he's done Drama's Edge. That's coming out. It's supposed to be really good. Dwellings of Everdale, uh, Eldervale, Manhattan Project. Oh, man, he does some good, really good. So Whistle Mountain, Drama's Edge, Stones of Fate. So many good games by uh, Luke Laurie. Uh, this, yeah, cannot. Man, Whistle Mountain. I forgot he did that. Uh, so awesome yes luke laurie cryo worker placement game it's um sci-fi so you got had me at that excellent game daryl and i really enjoyed that one and uh moving right along thank you very much for that um also you know again a shout out for um star realms another space game but i love love that deck builder all right cosmic b is in green team wins finally got a copy nice raw deluxe edition so pretty and sky team bga while waiting for our freedom oh is sky team on bga oh my goodness really i did not maybe i did know that and i wasn't paying it oh my gosh sky team is there folks is this the beta when did this go? oh my gosh you can play sky team um adding to my favorites Folks, I want to play Sky Team online. I'm so fired up about this. Yes. Very nice. So, uh, Cosmic Geek played Sky Team on BGA while waiting for the pre order. Played Raw Deluxe Edition. I love Green Team Wins. One of my top five party games. A very, very fun concept. Uh, it's a word game and, uh, you know, it's match, uh, you know, trying to match with the majority. So it'll be like fill in the blank or name something. If you're on the majority, you're on the green team, you'll score two points or you will join the green team and score a point. Or if you're not, you're on the orange team. If you did not join the majority, you don't, you just go to the orange team. You have to be the green team because the green team wins. Uh, but um, let me see. I want to point out, you know, I always do this. Uh, Raw's been on this list a couple of times, uh, folks, and I always have to point this out. I was, let me see where, oh, Dice Tower. That's where it was. Uh, I played an older version a couple of years ago when I was at the Dice Tower. Uh, where is this? Raw Dice Tower. Live play? Was it this one? Am I on this one? I am. No. Yeah. I have to point this one out. So I was at the Autumn Spectacular uh, with the Dice Tower live stream of this. And I, I was there for a few days, played so many games. But this is the one. It was I think it was the final game. One of the final games I streamed with them. But I won. So I always have to point this out. I finally got a victory uh, on uh, Raw uh, with the, uh, you know Tom Z and uh, Mike Delisio. Great game. This was one of the older versions, but this was a, a really nice older version. But nothing compares. Nothing compares. Uh, shout out, rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. Uh, nothing compares to the new 25th Century Edition version, which is, oh, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay. And uh, let's see. Nothing else in the queue. So... Uh, thank you, friends, for sharing what you played uh, last month in September. Uh, feel free to comment below with other games that you played, folks. And I do this every month. I do Wells Wrap Up, where I rank the games I played. And then I also do what you played, where I stream live on Twitch. Uh, click the uh, description below for the links. And then y'all live, uh, tell me what games you play. And like you saw here, I sh uh, talk about them, share them, and uh, continue uh, sharing the love of the hobby because that's what we do here on Tabletop tonight. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Ruel, and please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next month, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody.